from our library yeah. Yeah. was one part of it, you know, okay. to, to make room for more books. Yeah. Have you come down to the lecture? Uh, I'm not a lecture guy. <laughs> He's doing his lecture right now. Yeah, Just yeah. show this. Show yeah. the video. I'm the same yeah. guy. That I, I really don't like to be here but she's uh, she has a uh, she's oh she's I, I'm always thinking it's I'm thinking it's Amanda today you know, <laughs> because we had a red day yeah, yeah, yesterday yeah. True, so I know, I know how she is here Monday Tuesday yeah. but not Wednesday the medium you got oh, yeah. 18, yeah yeah it started in 72 I think oh my goodness that's uh, spiritualistic. Spiritualism from the spiritualism from yeah. The yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, How did you get this? I guess some of you this. I'm going to tell you the story. Um, the, um, the guy you see in the photo over there, we call this the Evans Library. Uh -huh. Because um, about half of the, what we have here comes from Hilary Evans. Oh, okay. Yeah, the name's familiar. The, Brit the British uh, author. Uh, he traveled the world collecting books, you know, yeah. and he, uh, he, um, he had a huge library. He's right up here, isn't he? Yeah, he's, yeah, he's right that's, there. That's him. That's him. Um, uh, and that's his wife. They are both dead. They, uh, uh, Hillary died in 2011. Wow. Uh, and he donated uh, everything uh, from his his collection to us. Well, some some things are still left at the Mary Evans Picture Library. Okay. Uh, they created that picture library to sell um, photos from old books. You know. Okay. They so. they bought old books from the nineteenth, uh, eighteenth yeah. century and. Uh, and uh, used the illustrations and sold the illustrations to to uh, uh, publishing uh, editors all around the world. And uh, they made at the top they had twenty employees working uh, in in that house. You know. I know you you guys have a lot online on your website about Hillary's yeah, yeah. collection. Yeah, yeah. He's he's sort of a, a god. Yeah. One of our gods. <laughs> yeah. he, he really did a, a huge thing, you know. We, for instance, we have a complete collection from, from the British Society for Psychic Research. Uh, all their publications since 1882, when they started. Wow. That was his, from, came from him, you know. So. That is amazing. Yeah. So, uh, if you are a par parapsychologist, yeah. you you need to go here too. Yeah. Well, that that's what I'm saying. That's where Dale Graff, like people like Dale Graff and Hal Putoff, they might come as holy. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, might yeah. come here and look at this because they're in that kind I of thing. You know what? I had Greg, uh, the, the uh, professor here, and he said yeah. uh, when I showed him, we had just gotten uh, another collection. We, which is, this is the room where we keep religion. Okay. Um, religious cults, you know, we yeah. have everything from from uh, Catholic uh, yeah. cults to Scientology. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we had just gotten a big collection of literature on um, Virgin Mary. Oh my goodness. Uh, you know, we bought 1,000 books from a Belgian uh, collector. Wow. Uh, and uh, Greg said that I need to tell my friend, he had a research friend who was doing research on that particular subject. I know someone too. They yeah. went to the Vatican. They actually went to the Vatican. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're UFO people that went to the Vatican yeah. into the secret files. So yeah, I mean, yeah. if they knew this was here. Yeah. Can I see the Scientology and the, 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 oh, uh, yeah. the Virgin Mary stuff? Yeah, the Scientology yeah. books, they are, are most popular displays, you know. <laughs> 
That's the uh, here. Look at this. It's a mm -hmm. here. That's the secrets. Wow. Yep. Yeah. And then the the uh, Virgin Mary, the religious, the Roman that, Catholic we stuff. We have that in, uh, in mainly uh, over here in the. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's, it's over here. Here, in, you know, we have um, a system, uh, a cat classification yeah. system of our own. You know, oh yeah. This yeah. is not in a, found in any other <laughs> library. This is just purely for us. But it's not an ordinary library, though. I mean, no, it's no. like a very no, no. specific library. Yeah. I mean, this is like you know, all the stuff we keep in here at Swedish community libraries. All of these things are found under just one signature, B.L. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Wow. Oh, this is impressive. Yeah. Impressive. So... Unreal. Wow. <laughs> this, I like this. This is pretty... Yeah, pretty unique. That yeah, yeah. Probably the only place yeah. in the world's got this collection like this. Wow. So, <laughs> let's light up a bit. Oh my goodness, look at this. It keeps going on and on. Mm. We have used pretty much every corner now. So yeah. We got a whole ghost section here. Yeah. 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 Oh. I'm just waiting for the ghost of uh, Hillary Adams to appear here, you know, <laughs> in, the, in the corner. Yeah. He's probably here somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And channeling? Do you have channeling books? Oh, we have, yes. Can you show us where those are? Um, yeah, because there's lots. You know, we are dividing channeling. Um, that, that's mainly, uh, if you're talking about channeling in the UFO, UFO, well, or, uh, or yeah, you separate one. them from, yeah? from... This is the psychic uh, sort of okay. channeling, yeah, you know, yeah. when okay. you speak about uh, dead people. Yeah, yeah. And, you okay. know, so, yeah. Uh, when you talk about UFO you have stuff, yeah. we have the next library. Okay, so, so, we are, we are so this is the psychic stuff here? Yeah, there. it's a, um, you know, it's mythology, folklore, and psychic stuff. But you have the channeling stuff with the like, like yeah, ghost channeling yeah, stuff. You, we have lots of, uh, um, you know, about hmm? about uh, <laughs> spiritualism. Wow! Look at this old spiritualist books. Yeah, spiritualism oh is really the basic for for uh, for channeling. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I think. Because <laughs> a, a lot of people are into they they combine the two. Yeah, and yeah. I've combined the two because. Yeah? I think I think it's basically I consider it like phenomenology. It's all the same thing. It's oh, yeah. all that it's, it's, higher yeah. level, whatever it is. You know, when we had, when when we had um, a vision not to to collect anything outside the borders of UFO. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was really a problem. You know, yeah. yeah. Uh, we we solved solved that problem by changing our name yeah. and accepting all kinds of of. Um, Phenomenal literature yeah. and, and things, yeah. but uh, in the other hand, we we are against the wall with space. Now. Yeah, I agree. But let me ask you a question. So you have all this very bizarre books, files. Have you had any bizarre experiences that have happened during your tenure here? No. No. Can I say really? No. no. It's um, no. No. Interesting. We are. You you could uh, should really expe expect uh, the ghost of Hillary. Adams, but <laughs> I haven't seen him yet. <laughs> I'm uh, yeah. I'm really waiting for him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or a little green man in a. Yeah. Car. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but you say you have got no numbers of government people who come for interest sake from around not the world. Not numbers. Not yeah. numbers. Uh, but uh, as I said, we had the uh, the head of. Uh, Swedish military intelligence here, and yeah. uh, we have had folklorists here. Oh yeah, uh, like people who are researching the uh, elves and the trolls, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, and you know. Yeah. Because uh, this would be like a prime place to go if you. Yeah, were, and we had you know. we had a, gu a couple of. Uh, Ghostbuster people. Oh, is that right? Wow. <laughs> you know, there's, that's a popular theme in Sweden now. The, uh, they are forming small societies and uh, equipping they s themselves with, uh, you know, all sorts of recording instruments yes. to to try to catch um, 
uh, EVP something hap yeah. something happening in a ghost home or uh, yeah. you know yeah that's big in Britain and uh, yeah, United yeah, States I, as well I thought yeah, so. yeah yeah yeah. Uh, when you say the the head of the intelligence service, Swedish intelligence service, well, is it the active head of the or is no, it the no, former? No, no, it's a former. Okay. Uh, he actually visited us when he was a pensioner. Ah, so, okay. Yeah, but uh, uh, we we've had contact with him for uh, decades, you know. Uh, okay. Because uh, you for Sweden has you know connections into the uh, Swedish. Uh, in defense. Okay. This is because they need to to be able to check up uh, recent uh, reports. Okay. Uh, for instance, there was a report right outside here mm -hmm. of two strange airplanes coming, and uh, they were traced by by uh, Swedish intelligence. It was uh, a military operation. Okay. Uh, like um, you know. Um, two peop two uh, tra planes uh, doing a training exercise, and they were, uh, you know, odd-looking planes. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. Wow. But he didn't. Uh, he didn't say anything. Uh, the, the head of intelligence service didn't uh, no. mention why he found it fascinating. Why he found it. Uh, Worth his while to go well, here. Well, uh, actually, uh, because uh, as, uh, he has been working as uh, a NATO consultant uh, f more or less throughout his life. He uh. he was the consultant when uh, when the, I think the Americans were were suspected of shooting down an airplane in the Mediterranean. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he was sort of a he was uh, mainly a radar. Guy, you uh -huh, know. Uh -huh. So he was he was called in to to investigate that, that case. case. Yeah. Wow. So um, um, well, I guess they would have, <laughs> I mean, like anybody else, even yeah, yeah. the people on the street are but, interested. People up there. But are uh, yeah. actually, I, I I don't believe for a minute that there is any big secrecy in Swedish government. Mm -hmm. I have to state that because yeah. uh, uh, we've. Uh, We've seen uh, many, many uh, formerly secret archives, you know, like from the ghost rockets. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, uh, okay. We discovered the, those files in 1984. So you've got the ghost file rockets? Yeah, yeah. Like the 36? We, have, we even stuff? have, we have them digitized, you know. Wow. That work was done by the Swedish National Archives. Wow. So we and that you've got the collection here in digital yeah, yeah. form? Yeah, we have it. Wow. Yeah. And how big would the collection be? Oh, uh, it's, uh, you know, it's uh, four boxes of uh, okay. witness material wow. and, and conference uh, things. And so what's your, what's your uh, take on what was going on with the ghost rockets? <coughs> really, uh, uh, <coughs> the very first UFO phenomenon <laughs> yeah. be before even the U.S. Yeah, but do you have any interpretation of what it was? Just mysterious? Oh, or? it's just mysterious. You know, we talked to... Uh, uh, we had a meeting with the guy who, um, before he died, mm -hmm. we met the guy who um, who was the main investigator. Wow, for the government or for yeah, private for guy? for the government, okay. yes, for the, the defense. Okay, he uh, traveled uh, Sweden, you know, yeah. interviewing witnesses and documenting. And you did an interview with this guy. Yep. Wow. Yeah. So and uh, he was very much. Uh, uh, it was. A big enigma to him, mm -hmm. everything you know. They couldn't understand it, what it was yeah. people were seeing. Then, of course, there's, there's always a core, you know. The core, that's what I'm talking about, the core of, of interesting cases. That's yeah, about yeah. 150 or 200 cases. Okay. But they are really very tough to explain. Yeah, you guys were the first in terms of. Like a major we were like the first to see those documents maybe in uh, 40 years, yes. Wow. So, wow. so maybe, um, except for the archivists. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, uh, the head of the Swedish, um, Swedish um, war archives, uh, he has had a major UFO sighting. Oh, okay. He saw one of those ghost rockets in oh. 1980. Wow. Uh, when he was young, he was with his coming wife 
he was camping uh, in the extreme north of Sweden mm -hmm. along a lake okay. and um, they suddenly heard a buzzing sound coming from yeah. behind, you know. Uh -huh. They were standing on the shore of the lake, looking out at uh -huh. the lake. Heard a, a sound and they saw a, um, a missile, missile thing, you know. Like, uh, you know, one of your tomahawks or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it didn't go very fast, but just like this, you know. And it had it towards the horizon, but then it seemed to get into problems and ditched down into the lake with a big splash. In 1980? Yeah. <laughs> so UFO Sweden is now doing, um, they have been two times at that place uh, with um, divers and you know things but what is needed now is a nice cover because uh, you cannot handle the, the um, equipment on water oh, when, yeah, yeah, when yeah, it's yeah. Uh, we'll like this. Yeah. It has to be even, you know. Okay. So they are trying, it's a, a rather shallow lake, it's only five, six meters, okay. you know. Yeah. But the problem is that half of it is mud. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. So so if there's something that crashed there, the it's river. deep into the mud maybe. Mm -hmm. yeah. So let me ask you, like, so you have the Ghost Rodicus 36 in somewhere in there, does it end and then this guy has one sighting or did they go all the way through. Oh, we have sightings, you know, of ghost rockets pretty much every year. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, wow. Not, uh, not that the last one that ditched into a lake, that was in 1999, as I remember. Wow. That was in the, um, in, the, in the west of Sweden, close to the Norwegian oh. border. Is there ghost rocket sightings in other countries, do you know, or is it just no, a Swedish phenomenon? It's, it's a typical Swedish phenomenon. Oh, wow. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, we we are trying to get reports from, you know. I'm I'm talking to our, uh, I'm writing to to our um, guy in Russia, for instance. Uh -huh. They would have. I, I would think that's the, the same kind of, uh, mm -hmm. of nature. nature and and so things. But it it's a very typical, it a very a very typical um, pattern to these sightings. You know, they often appear right in the middle of the day, when it's bright sunlight, you know, uh, usually not very much uh, cloud cover. And uh, it's usually around lakes, Swedish in 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 inland like lakes, wow. you know. That's it, I didn't know that. I don't think most people no. know that, yeah. No. There, there was one day in July of, uh, which year escapes me, but there were four of these, um, uh, Ghost rocket sightings at the same time. Ah, uh -huh. uh, haven't heard about that. Uh, where a mil one of the a high level military guy in Sweden saw it go into a lake. In the same day, there were four sightings. You as know, far as I've uh, researched. Uh, ah, I'm, I'm wondering. But uh, I know that the supreme commander of the Swedish forces, mm -hmm. uh, who was active in 1948, he saw one of those ghost rockets ditch outside his summer house in the Swedish archipelago. That, exactly, and that was yeah. the same day where I believe uh, there no, 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 I, I don't think there were other sightings, but... Um, okay, I did some research on the main brace case. Okay. And that, yeah, and I did a lecture on that okay. at one point. And that's, uh, I, I kind of came across that information, I can't remember where now. Oh, yeah. You, you, you sure. know, you have, to, to you have to watch out what's on the internet. Yeah, yeah, of Not course. always reliable. No, <laughs> no, true. That's you my point. Yourself, now you can contribute to the archives, you yeah. show the research. And we, then we have, uh, at, at the, the head office, we have the uh, a complete report. You know, they, since he was the supreme commander of the Swedish forces, he, um, he ordered you know, uh, the submarine rescue yeah. ship into the place and they did a very thorough search of the mm -hmm. bottom, you know, mm -hmm. and they found nothing, of course. So let me ask you, there's a rumored story in the American that, that uh, Truman sent uh, one of the high-ranking generals to investigate. Do you know, do you, have you got anything on that? It was, oh, uh, that was... Uh, that was Doolittle and Sarnoff. Uh, they were both high-ranking uh, generals. They were sent here in 1946. I think Doolittle. 
Doolittle. Doolittle. Yeah, yeah. Doolittle and Is David Sarno. Is that story? Yeah, I, I, I've written about it. Have you got, have you got the, any files on that? Oh, we have, yes. Oh, wow. So, oh, my goodness. Because so that's one of the controversial stories some. in the United States, whether yeah, that yeah, actually yeah. took place. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, I to wrote, report back to the president, right? Yeah. I wrote uh, a chapter for a book, uh, one of Hillary Evans' books, I think, oh, about okay. about uh, this. Well, I'm going to have to check yeah. that. You have to you, give me a reference to that. You, 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 Am you Americans have never cited that well, very Canadian, important <laughs> European <laughs> book. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we know that, because I do the U.S. president, so that, of course, that's the story I yeah? was very, very interested in, is the story that... When I become a billionaire, I will build a...